Hey guys, welcome to the NDE Files. We're looking at Paradoxal, another game without a windowed mode. <sighs> Minus points for that, but let's get into it. This is a game that you can pick up on Steam, as is most of them. Iceland, 1987. This is a pixel-style game. We've seen a couple of these. You can actually control it with a controller. It controls pretty nicely. My only complaint, again, is no windowed mode. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the music. Tried to put it much lower. Oh, cool. It's a robot. Can I interact with a robot? Can I go down there? No. Can't interact with anything or look at anything? <laughs> ah! What? What just happened? Am I supposed to? Okay, there's slow. Oh. oh. The controls are a little weird. There's a dog in there, so now we know we can do this. So it just kind of throws you into this world, then? Can I have a robot? I guess not. There are people sleeping. Okay. Is there anything I can pick up over here? So I don't know what's going on in this game. Hmm. Ooh. We got an ID card. That should come in handy. Oh, cool. Aw, one time use, really? Ah. One hit only? Oh, that's a little strange, but okay. Okay, let me try getting farther away. At least I can outrun it. Alrighty then, what's the point of the gun if it doesn't seem to kill it? Huh. Oh, I can spam the gun at least. Maybe you're not supposed to kill it? Mm. Nope. Can't say I'm a huge fan of this. I'm gonna try something else. multiple ways to go. Maybe we can find a power-up. Oh, this is the way we came. But there is an entrance over there, so maybe we have to shoot the poor puppy with the gun and go down there instead of trying to fight that. What's the point of the gun? Can't say I'm too much of a fan of this game so far. The one-hit thing is kind of annoying, too. I mean, it looks like it could be a good game. This is kind of dumb. Honestly. It's getting a little frustrating. Come on. I really don't like games that are like... Oh, I mean, we can do this. Again, I am not a huge fan of this type of a game. One hit and you're dead? It wouldn't... Even if it's a robot, that's kind of stupid. And the gun feels like it does nothing. Finally! Gosh, that took way too long. Oh! Oh, come on! Oh, that door just led back there. Get that. Oh, come on! They respawn! You look like a chihuahua. So wait, do I just leave, maybe? Is that all I needed to collect was the gun? You're gonna make me fight the robot, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're gonna make me fight the robot. So weird. Come on. Oh, you're in that one, you're in that one, you're in that one. Nope. 
I think I'm just supposed to run from him. Oh, I see. So you are just supposed to run from him. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, not again! Let me out! So... Ah! Uh, why does it sound like a kid? That's a little weird. Oh, man. Hold on. Okay, we can do this. Oh, so you really gotta time this. So I'm not a huge fan of the gun. I, it, I, I can't say that I'm really much of a fan of this type of, like I've said before, gameplay. This is really frustrating and annoying. <sighs> Am I just supposed to maybe dodge him? No. Can't do that. Mm. Um, let's try this again. Yeah, so I don't know if shooting him is the best option. Why does it sound like a kid? So I think that's really all I'm going to show for this game. Like I said, it could potentially be a good game. I'm not a huge fan of these type of games because of the way it is. It gets a little frustrating. But if you want to try it out, there's a link in the description to the Steam page, so go ahead and try it and give me your thoughts, and I'll see you next time. Bye! In the summer we were lovers With the flame our hearts would burn A flame the autumn would smother